Now that you've created your teddy bear embroidery with Lesson 1, Part 1, let's change the fill pattern and the directions of the teddy bear's fur. When you begin to change direction and select different parts of your teddy bear, make sure that the rectangular selection tool is highlighted on the left menu. It's right there at the top. Then move your mouse over the different parts of the teddy bear. See as you move your mouse, different parts of the bear are actually highlighted. We want to highlight that center kind of grayish white part of the teddy bear, the main part. Left click and a little pink outline comes around the teddy bear area. That's just what we want. Look over to the right hand side and see the object properties area. In this object properties it shows that this is a step fill pattern, that part of your teddy bear. You can change different styles which will give you a more open look to your teddy bear or change patterns which is what we're going to do today. If you scroll down you'll see and notice there are many different patterns to choose from. You can even make a little zigzag teddy bear if you wish. We're going to scroll quite a ways down until you see some specific patterns that have the letter R in front of them. So keep on scrolling down until you see those letter R's. And you can see there's R1 R2, R3, and what I'd like you to choose, and you'll see right there, is R5, this one right here. With R5, it looks like a little bit of fur right there in the pattern window. Once you click on that, go ahead and come over and click off, and you can see a slight change in how that teddy bear fur looks like but you'll see a bigger difference when we change the direction of the stitching. So if you've done like I have and clicked off, go ahead click back on that area so you make sure that you have that little pink outline around the teddy bear. We're then going to move over to the left hand side again and you'll see a little icon that looks like a diamond that's half colored in and half not colored in and it's called directions please click on that directions icon. When you move your mouse over your work area, that same area that has that pink outline, you're going to see there's a little red dot that's following my, my arrow, my cursor around. I'm going to move that to the teddy bear's left shoulder and left click. Okay, and with that there, then I'm going to left click and drag all the way down and notice when I'm clicking and dragging I'm getting a line. So I'm going to left click and drag down to the teddy bear's left hand and let go. When I did that, you see how our teddy bear's direction of stitches have changed. Just left click outside of your work area. See how that teddy bear now looks like he has a little bit of fur right there. It's really, really easy and fun to go ahead and do that. So you can get lots of great different patterns in the teddy bear. Let's go up to the teddy bear's hat. Now notice I still have, when I click on the hat, I still have that direction highlighted or that direction icon and function is still active. So I want to move outside, right click off, and now I have a box around the hat. So with that box around that I know that that direction is not highlighted anymore. Come over to the object properties on the right hand side and I'd simply like you to choose a different pattern. You can use, as I've done, this little zigzag pattern Try that. Try a couple different ones so you can see what they're going to look like in that teddy bear's hat. So there are lots of them to choose from. Once you've selected 
a pattern that you like, go ahead and do the same thing for the green. Try something different. You can see how they look right there on screen. And last but not least, change that red. So again, you have many to choose from, many different patterns to choose from. Go ahead and make that hat really fun with many different patterns from the teddy bear's hat. So again, it was really super easy to change the pattern of the fur as well as the direction of the stitches and then have some fun with the patterns in the teddy bear's hat. I want you to go ahead and try that and then when we come back we're going to change colors in the teddy bear's hat.